good morning children yes children i hope you all enjoyed your holidays happy li children okay now from this term we are going to see lesson number 5 in computer science browsing the net what we are going to see browsing the net okay you all know about internet no children yes browsing the internet title lesson number 5 page number 54 all if you take your computer science textbook children here on the top we have seen some words we have to arrange it what is the first word is a website second word is hyperlink third word is web page fourth one is home page okay internet what is the internet internet is a all the children will be holding hands and they are connected to each other now can you see the picture there are some children holding their hands together and they are playing like that only computers are connected to form a network computers are connected to form a network a collection of connected computer networks is spread all over the world is called the internet a collection of connected computer networks is spread all over the world that only we call as net internet can you see the picture the next page page number 55 children we can see so many computers are there and the middle globe is there can you see this only we call as internet as a global network internet as a global network the internet is a global network of computers it links millions of people business government offices and educational educational institutions the word internet stands for interconnected network the word internet stands for interconnected network internet enables all the connected computers to share information and services so it will give you the information and service in whatever topic you need now what are the basic requirements for this so to connect to internet you need a computer system with a internet service provider isp a modem a phone line and a web browser what are the things you need children you need a isp a modem a phone line and a web browser can you see the down picture internet service provider isp a phone line telephone line a computer and a modem so it is all labeled here can we move to page number 56 internet service provider this is isp it is uh, this is an organization that provides internet services some examples of internet service provider atel reliance hathway mtnl and bsnl so internet service provider provide internet services at various speeds usually measured in megabytes per second mbps okay now modem what is this modem full form is modulator demodulator this full form is modulator demodulator a modem allows one computer to connect and communicate with another computer it can be either internal or external to your computer the speed of modem is measured in bytes per second how it is measured it is measured in bytes per second web browser the word browse means to go through the content of something web browser is a type of software used to access the contents of web pages of a website on the internet some popular web browsers are can you see the picture children the first one is internet explorer google form mozilla firefox opera okay a web browser itself is not a internet but only displays websites that are stored on the internet okay okay now next page we'll go move on to the next page parts of the browser window parts of the browser window internet explorer is a pre installed web browser that comes with the windows operating system okay now to open an internet explorer what how will you open start button all programs will come then from the all programs you will get here internet explorer 
okay now start button all programs and then explore and internal explorer will windows appears its various parts you can use to navigate now can you see the down picture internet explorer window picture is given the first button is back button second button is forward button down picture see the picture children and the blank area white area is the address bar and after that is refresh button and on the next to that this is new but tab button on the right side you can see the home button close button and favorites button so these are the available buttons available in the internet explorer now change the page children turn the page children now cool tip what is the cool tip here you can also open internet explorer by clicking on its icon on the task bar okay now i told you already told you know one empty space that only the address bar the address bar is a box where you can type the address of the website you can type the address of the website for example to open the website of the pogo channel we have to type www.pogo.tv in the address bar and press the enter key so the address of the website is also called as uniform resource locator so address of the website what we call the short form url that is uniform resource locator the link in the uh, the link in the address bar updates automatically when you move from one page to another tabs tabs are used to open many websites at the same time it displays the recently opened websites you can click on any type of type of new websites address on the address bar to open more than one tab click on the new tab button so let can you see the tab new tab is open now okay so we have amazon youtube wikipedia twitter linkedin ms so so many tabs are there okay now favorites favorite is here the favorite is button helps to store bookmark as a favorite web pages you can access them later by clicking on the favorite button and selecting the desired web page from the list to add your favorite web page follow these steps click on favorites button click on add to favorites then add to favorite dialog box appears type the name and the folder details in the name box and create in box click on add so this are the how we store the do the favorites button now next page now steps to bookmark a web page how we'll do this history history displays the information related to the work we have done on the websites we have visited since today last week and so on so we also reopen and delete the visited sites or websites to check the history follow the steps now two days before or the yesterday we want to see the history now how we'll go to the click on the favorites button click on the history tab on the pop up uh, menu and choose the appropriate option can you see that picture history picture is there in the top add to the favorites there you open you want to see today's or you want to see two days before that you can view navigation buttons navigation buttons are the refresh button the symbol is like this this button is used to reload the current web page back button the symbol is on the backer side that is on the left side it shows and the forward button this uh, arrow mark shows the right side these buttons let you browse the recently viewed web pages home so it's look like a home this button opens the first page of the web browser at any point of time close button into mark this button is used to close the internet explorer window the stop button is used to stop the ongoing research process okay children okay can we we'll go to next page terms related to the internet www okay world wide web the world wide web www is a huge collection of pages these pages are called web pages and contain text pictures audios and videos you can use the internet to locate these page web pages a web browser searches for the desired information in the world wide web the world wide web is popularly known as web net surfing 
moving from one website to another is known as net surfing okay or web browsing other name for that is web browsing a website is a collection of various related web pages you must be wondering how to move from one page to another the answer is simple the pages on the world wide web are connected the pages are linked together using hyperlinks and hyperlink is a highlighted text or the graphic image on the web page that you can click to jump to another location when you move the cursor over the hyperlink the arrow ups and changes into the small hand and pointing at the link so when you move the cursor over a hyperlink the arrow marks changes into small hand okay pointing at the link clicking on the hyperlink can you take another part of the same page or it can take you to the another page okay now next page will go now search engine search engine suppose your teacher has given you assignment on the the most clean cleanest uh, cleanest city of india is to collect the information now you have to go to the school library to read books but with help of internet you can search the information on any topic for this you have to use a software called search engine now if you type like this list of cleanliest cities in india you will get it will get the names okay websites that provide the facility for searching the information on various topics such as search engines or search engine is a search box on which you can type word or phrase related to the information you want some popular search engines in the address are follows google www.google.com ask www.ask.com altavista www.altavista.com msn search www.msn.com bing www.bing.com yahoo search www search yahoo dot com excite www excite dot com so these are the some of the search engines and the address okay now you change the next page children page number sixty two the first search engine was named by Archie Veronica and Jughead and search tools Archie Veronica and Jughead are well known comic characters these are the comic characters they are and next para browsing on the net internet when you type a keyword in the search box so many links appear this is like to searching for the needle in a hack sack so you need to plan your search otherwise you will keep on getting thousands of unwanted pages while searching keep the following points in the mind while searching you have to follow some points while searching spell the search words correctly do not rush into search for information first note down what is you are searching for nothing what you are looking for be specific if you want to look for information about the code red computer virus do not just search for code or the red or the virus try out all the terms use and or or not operators to make your search bigger or smaller it is a good habit to type these words in the upper case letters for example if you type asia and elephant in a search box you will get information only on the elephant from asia and makes you search smaller make you search smaller and if you type cats or dogs in a search box you get information on cats or dogs on both or makes your search larger next if you type cats not dogs you get information only on the first keyword cats not makes your search smaller use double quotation marks around the search words next the quotation marks tell the search engine the works in the quotes which must be searched exactly they are typed in the same order for example to search for the information of indira gandhi type it as indira gandhi this tell the search engine as both words must be present appear next to each other in the same order so you can put a plus sign instead of and and minus sign instead of r okay children now we got it children yes 
hyperlink a highlighted text or the graphic image on the web page that can be clicked up to another location internet a global network of computers modem connects one computer with another net surfing moving from one website to another search engine websites for information search web browser software used to access the contents of web pages okay let us recall now you must have a computer system with an internet browser so this provide a modem and a telephone line and a web browser to connect to the internet and isp is the organization that provides internet service internet explorer comes pre installed with the windows operating system the address bar is a place where you type the address of the website a website is a collection of related web pages the address of a website is also called uniform resource locator the first page of the website is also is called the home page the favorites button help to store favorite web page it can be accessed later the world wide web is a huge collection of web pages and the web pages are linked together by hyperlinks some of the popular search engines are google bing ask yahoo and so on okay children now we will give the will do the exercise the first one the word internet stands for the the first one answer is b interconnected network second one the full form of modem is modulator demodulator sec for second one is c answer the third one is Each one of the following is not necessary to connect an internet. Third one is D answer a search engine. Fourth one which of the following web browsers comes with a Windows operating system? Fourth one is B answer Internet Explorer. Fifth one the address of the website is also called dash URL. Fifth one is E answer which button is used to reload the current web page children? Sixth one is B refresh. Seventh one, www is probably known as uh, B web. Okay, what name is given to the website that provides facility to search information on various topics? Eighth is B search engine. Which keyword is used to make the search smaller? Both A and B. Uh, then uh, which symbol tells the search engine to search the words exactly as they type in the same order number 10th one is c quotation marks now matching internet is number one is a global network net surfing is a moving from one website to another hyperlinkers links the web page archie the first search engine history button displays the visited websites modem speed bits your bits per second so question answers have sent uh, everything you have to mark in your textbook children 64 and 65 and question answers you have to write in your class work that also i have sent in this video children please copy down in your class work children thank you children